am Robin Dorian, and welcome to The Telly, the show about BBC America made especially for you. From Mystery Monday's finest to Comedy Thursday's funniest, The Telly goes behind the scenes of BBC America, brings you exclusive interviews with our stars, and the scoop on some of the top shows on telly. Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong, will go wrong. But in this case, Murphy is the law, armed with a sharp wit and a bit of Irish charm. Jimmy Nesbitt plays Detective Inspector Tommy Murphy, a maverick undercover cop with a tragic past and nothing to lose. Now go behind the scenes with the cast and crew of the newest addition to Mystery Monday's Murphy's Law. What are you going to do, honey? I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to arrest you. You! What a dirty, stinking, undercover cop! No, 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 you don't understand. I understand more than you think. <laughs> Officer Thomas Murphy at your service. What? I play DS, Detective Sergeant Tommy Murphy, an undercover cop working in, and living in London. The point of him being undercover is it's a great escape. Now, he can run away from the reality of his own life by donning different guises or working in different worlds. If he tries anything... It's OK, Thompson. He won't. What makes Murphy interesting, in my opinion, is that he takes risks that other people wouldn't take. That was easy, wasn't it? He doesn't take those because he's a hero. He doesn't take those because he's excessively brave or courageous. He takes them because he's had tragedy in his life. Tommy, what we had together was great. Don't spoil it. What we had together is buried in Roselawn Cemetery. No. Sorry, no, I didn't mean to say. The Murphy character is so strong and is so much Jimmy in terms of what he brings to it. And he's such, he's such an incredible actor that we've tried to give him this... We've tried to give him a great cast to work against and real stories that he can really sort of get his teeth into. How do you work out I'll be fine? Because you have me. Oh. Suddenly, I feel better. Are you ready? Yeah. Tommy! Get in there, you big pile of slag. Murphy. Sorry, I just didn't know what else to say. From here on in, you do everything you're told. Because if anything happens to her, I'll cut your head off. Now, get in there. Go on. The writing is funny, um, darkly comic. Uh, the stories themselves are quite, quite unique. It kind of works at its best when it's set against a kind of a, an extraordinary background. So what we've tried to do is to get an air of sort of uh, jeopardy into the worlds that the Murphy character goes into so that we can have this kind of high tension and quite a dark humour that only comes through Murphy. I know the rant's overdue, but this is... Oh! I do strongly believe in, in that Murphy uses humour as a weapon. What are you going to do? Are you going to shoot us all? No. I'm going to shoot you six times and be really mean to the others. For him, it's a great way of just closing off and being quite dry and cynical and just throwing out these sort of either one-liners or being quite um, flippant because it stops him from really having to confront, you know, inside himself. So, what do you need? A woman. Well, come on, Murphy, be serious. I'm serious. Car likes to play away from home. I can only get so close. A woman can get closer. Claudia Harrison, who plays Annie, uh, is my boss, and um, and Murphy's relationship with her is quite fraught because um, she plays things sort of by the book, and he tends not to do that. Yeah, right, Donna. But they also work very closely together. I mean, throughout the series, you kind of think, well, there won't there's a kind of a moonlighting feel to it, I suppose. Sorry about that. No, it was, it was fine, really. It was, it was good. Really? It was a good idea. You didn't need to slip the tongue, though. And then the other member of the team is um, Carter, played by Del Sinnott. Don't you think this is all getting a bit out of hand? Murphy's the, uh, I seem as sort of maverick cop, but the guy's sort of a bit close to the edge and sort of leather jacket stubble, and Carter is the more refined, sophisticated sort of suit and jacket guy. Pay no attention, Mum. They're whistling at you, Carter. I think he's more the stooge, I think, because he's, he's so straight-laced. There's none. There's no punchlines for Carter. There's no sort of, you know, funny moments. It, it's generally he will be laughed at 
as opposed to laughing wheat. This is great. They never let me play with the toys. They're not toys, Carter, all right? <gasps> there are interesting different films um, shot with a devastatingly handsome Irish lead, and uh, hopefully they'll enjoy them. Catch Murphy's Law Monday nights at 9, only on BBC America. What is Velvet Soup? A totally twisted sketch show that's almost too rude for telly. Now take a sneak peek at our newest addition to Comedy Thursdays, Velvet Soup. Here I am, my big hairy helmet boy. <laughs> Gloria, why are you dressed like a fat middle-aged woman in a school uniform? Because it's sexy. I want to turn you on. <laughs> How absurd. <laughs> turn me that off. I've seen you looking at Britney Spears with her school uniform on. You like her? Yes. Britney Spears? <laughs> Not the horrific shambling corpse of a wife. <laughs> a woman has... Needs, Michael. Oh, you're not putting your dirty, stubby finger hands anywhere near me tonight, darling. No. Go to bed. But, Michael, it's our honeymoon. <laughs> Velvet Soup, Thursday nights at 9.30, only on BBC America. Telly will be right back after this.